this is Katie Weeks, your independent close to my heart maker. And today I'm going to show you a swap card that I made for Linda Keller's um, Close to My Heart card swap for the November December catalog. And I'm taking the slimline snowflakes embossing folder and lining it up on the left side of my A2 size, car size card. And I made sure that Close to My Heart logo was on the front of that embossing folder. And when I did that, it embossed the outside of my card and it's eight and a half inches, perfect for the length of this A2 card. And then on the inside, it is debossed and it is beautiful. So I didn't push real hard on that embossed part, but I did fold it over. Next, I'm going to be using the Merry Christmas M size stamp set with my Royal Ink, and I'm going to stamp that sentiment on the right side where it is not debossed um, inside my card. And then I'm going to use the Triangle Trees um, I used the thin cuts that, that were in that bundle and I used the middle three sizes to cut my sage and periwinkle cardstock. And I'm using the true side of all three of those um, layers of the tree to layer inside the card. And I wanna tell you, I have a guest uh, crafter on this video, so stay tuned. Make sure you get to see that guest crafter. And next I'm going to work on some stenciling and stamping for this card. So I had that purple, well actually royal ink pad out. So I'm going to start with that next. And I'm bringing in this um, Triangle Trees stamp set and I also have um, the stencils that I'll be using. And I'm bringing in one other stamp set. It is, let me see, the Silver Bells scrapbooking stamp set that I will get a small sentiment from. Now, take note here. I am stamping a design from those Triangle Trees stamps and the design is much larger than the tree I'm stamping it on. You can always use a larger image on a smaller triangle and it still works beautiful. And here's that little sentiment. It says jingle all the way. And I just wanted something small for that top right hand corner. And I'm even going to snip off the right side of that little decorative border. Okay, and here I'm coming in with my pine ink and I am stamping a design that is the actual size that it needs to be for that medium triangle. And then for the smallest, do you see? Again, I grabbed a stamp and it is much larger than I need, but it doesn't make a difference. If you use these larger stamps, it gives you lots of versatility. Okay, did you see those triangles and how the layers of my stencils work together? It, you're going to see it um, as I stencil a few of these trees on the front of my card. They layer on so beautifully. And I like to use the one inch one inch masking tape just to mask off where I do not want to um, use my blending brush and ink. So I am using the sage ink. I'm tapping off on some scrap paper and I am just using my stencil and I get three trees and just the very corner of another tree and I realize I should have some masking tape across the top too, just to be safe. So I add another piece of masking tape and then I come in and I'm going to use the layer that works together with this. Do you see how they layer together so perfectly? And I'm going to use my Royal ink pad and my blending brush and I'm just going to lightly put on some ink and some of mine I actually did it much lighter than you see and I'm getting one good tree and then just the very corner of another tree. 
Okay, so once I have my stenciling finished, I'm going to bring back those other trees and put them on the front of my card. The one that is in the periwinkle cardstock stamped with the royal, I just stuck straight down and I uh, put it down just a little bit, probably a quarter inch up from the base of the card. And then these other two trees that are stamped on the sage cardstock, I am putting some 3D foam tape behind them to give it some more dimension. And the cards that are the different trees that are stenciled and then layered on cardstock and then some that are layered on with a 3D foam tape, it really gives a lot of dimension to this whole scenery of trees. And when I was doing this, I realized I forgot to stamp those two little stenciled uh, sage trees. So I'm coming in here and second generation of my pine ink I'm stamping. And I actually had a helper tonight who helped me make some of my Christmas cards. Let's check her out. What are you stamping? Um, people. What are you stamping on the paper? What is that picture of? Um, mountain and tree. What color are you stamping your mountains? Um, purple. And what color are you stamping your trees? Um, um, what is this color? What is this? Um, a green. Yes. Purple mountains and green trees. Ah, I need to read this. Isn't she adorable? That's my granddaughter, Avery. <laughs> so next I'm going to layer on that last tree and then I'm bringing that little sentiment in that says jingle all the way. And I am going to uh, cut off the edge of that bracket because I don't want the whole decorative bracket on there. And I'm bringing in my shimmer trim. I have both the silver and the pine shimmer trim. And I'm going to take a strip of each one about three inches long, and I'm going to put it in my aluminum cut rail paper trimmer, and I'm going to slice it in half. So um, I would say this is about hmm, maybe three eighths of an inch wide, and I'm cutting it in half and then putting um, a little strip of the silver with a diagonal end to it that is going to be right underneath the sentiment and then another tiny little piece that is in the pine shimmer trim and I'm putting that underneath the silver and then I'm popping that sentiment up on 3D foam tape. And the next thing I'm going to do for decoration is to bring in the silver glitter gems and I'm putting them in the middle of three different snowflakes that are embossed on the front of the card. And that just gives it a little extra sparkle. So the last finishing touch I have is to bring in my lavender lace liquid pearls and I'm going to put dots on that little pine tree that has like lines and ornaments. And I even add a couple extra little ornaments to the tree. And I just kind of flicked behind it and that kind of rounded them out just a little bit. So that's what my card looks like. And I'll give you a final look in a few minutes. But then I also brought my uh, die cutting and embossing machine back in with that snowflake slimline embossing folder and I embossed the edge of my envelope for a great finishing touch. So if you've enjoyed this make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.